Using fame and power to create business opportunities just makes sense. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity entrepreneurs. I stay close to the heat, and even when I was close to the feet, I rose to my feet. For this list, we've chosen the people who, after they found fame, used their status to create new businesses for themselves. People who became famous for their business acumen like Donald Trump, Gordon Ramsay, or Steve Jobs don't qualify. We gotta thicken our revenue stream. We gotta thicken our f***ing stream. We gotta thicken the f*** out of that stream right now. Number 10, 50 Cent. A rapper whose main claim to fame at the beginning of his career was a relationship with Eminem and Nine Bullet Wounds, 50 used his instincts and hard work to turn his notoriety into a fortune. I don't know what you heard about me. Turning G-Unit from a musical act to a brand, he started a record label, film production companies, and a clothing line under the name, among other things. Also investing in platinum mining and working with major corporations to develop everything from vitamin waters to sneakers. There's no questioning Fiddy's ability to make a deal. He took that get rich or die trying mantra to heart. Somebody's gonna have to right. work and find that new way, so I feel like I'm the guy all the time. Number nine, Ryan Seacrest. I love a great suit. Part of my job on a regular basis for almost 15 years has to been put on a great suit and go out and host a show. Purported to be one of the busiest men in Hollywood, the American Idol host and radio personality turned those gigs into a position of power in the business world. Whether you're a fan or hater of the legion of Kardashian-related TV shows, you have the production company that bears his name to thank. And if you're hoping to get a keyboard attachment for your iPhone or would like to suit up, you can turn to him too. This is something that everything from the way the pockets are cut, to the way the pants are made, to the way that the lapel is done. Which, which lapel am I wearing? The, you're wearing the peak lapel. The peak, thank you. We can only guess what his next business venture will be, but based on his track record, we're certainly not betting against it. But I, I do think that these suits are, are different, they're unique, they've got great detail, and I think it's a good time to launch them. Number eight, Sean Puff Daddy Combs. Sean John, hip hop mogul, movie star, yeah. designer. Don't <laughs> stop now, baby. Though it was his position as the founder of Bad Boy Records that first introduced Sean Combs to the world in 1993, it was his performances in music that made him a star. A man who seems to have a vision for everything he does, Diddy is a music mogul, fashion guru, television producer, and restaurateur who holds interest in Ciroc Vodka and the Aniche clothing line, among other things. Never afraid to boast about his success. I got villas in Brazil, Tahiti, East Hampton, West Hampton. Sergio gonna be fine. F a recession. The man has certainly earned that right. Mo money does not actually equal mo problems, we guess. I'm talking about the the new number one name in music on time one of cable? This right here? Hey, Craig. Number seven, Kathy Ireland. Hi, this is Kathy Ireland. Our beautiful set is brought to you today by Kathy Ireland Exhibits by Expo Marketing. For most models, an appearance on the cover of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue would be a big enough accomplishment. But this American beauty chose not to rest on her laurels. My last job description in the last century was shut up and pose. I reject that today. <laughs> I've been accused of being a control freak, prefer to think of it as passionate. In 1993, at the height of her modeling success, Ireland lent her name to a line of socks and turned that first success into a full-fledged brand. Kathy Ireland Worldwide markets an estimated 15,000 products globally and brings in about $2 billion annually, making its namesake one of the world's richest former models and an inspiration to modelpreneurs everywhere. I serve as chief designer and CEO, so from design to marketing, sales, shipping, distribution, QC, HR, all of those issues I've in, I'm involved with. I work with a team. Number six, Paul Newman. Newman's own tequila lime. Now you have the, the mustache there. Apparently that's from the Spanish side of the family. A beloved actor who'd amassed a personal fortune vast enough that it allowed him and his family to live comfortably. Mr. Newman was inspired to give back. And in 1982, he created Newman's own with author friend A.E. Hotchner. 
giving 100% of its after-tax profits to the Newman's Own Foundation. It all started with Paul Newman's homemade salad dressing. Soon others joined the family. Now we've jumped from the salad bowl into the pizza pan with Newman's Own Pizza. The company has donated over $380 million to various charities over the years. An entrepreneur and philanthropist of the highest order, Paul's legacy has lived on after the actor's 2008 death and continues to help people worldwide. You gotta shake it frantically. Uh-huh. Here you are, folks. Paul Newman shaking it frantically. Number five, Dr. Dre. I stay close to the heat. And even when I was close to the feet, I rose to my feet. My life's like a soundtrack I wrote to the beat. Street rap like Cali weed. I smoke till I'm asleep. A man who's living the American dream, Andre Young used his ample servings of skill, ingenuity, and determination to become a very wealthy man. First taking the music biz by storm as a performer and producer, he earned the power he desired and deserved as the founder of multiple record companies before striking a plethora of other business deals. Mad at me because I can finally afford to provide my family with groceries. Stealing headlines worldwide in 2014 when Beats, the company he co-founded with Jimmy Iovine, was sold to Apple for $3 billion in cash and stock. Dre's latest success ensures his efforts remain fruitful and that he's one of hip-hop's richest men. Last time you heard from me, I lost some friends. Well, hell, me and Snoop, we dipping again. I kept my ear to the streets, signed Eminem. He's triple platinum, doing 50 a week still. Number four, Irvin Magic Johnson. Our brand is up, uplifting. Um, it's a brand that uh, the people know they can trust. Formerly one of the sports world's biggest stars, until his career on the court was effectively ended due to his HIV diagnosis, Magic was determined not to lay down and die. Setting his sights on the business realm, Johnson educated himself and sharpened his business acumen, eventually founding Magic Johnson Enterprises, a record label, and a chain of movie theaters, and purchasing 125 Starbucks franchises in urban neighborhoods. Never forgetting his roots, Magic also invested in sports, at one time becoming a minority owner of the LA Lakers and currently part owner of both the LA Dodgers and Sparks. Many people take, 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 you know? And so I didn't want to be one of those people who just went in and made money and then get back and touch the community. And I thought it was important for my brand to build it that way. Number three, Jay-Z. We're into publishing. There's just so many different aspects of music. We're, we're, in, we're into more of it now. And we're, um, you know, we're getting better at it. An artist with a business portfolio as varied as his musical influences, Jay-Z is one of the world's best-selling musicians. But he also has a sixth sense when it comes to divining winning business opportunities. Part owner of a basketball team, founder of a clothing line and music label, he holds the careers of more people in his hands than most can imagine. My goal was to have one gold album, and that was it. And it became, I want to show that artists can ascend to the executive ranks. Seemingly never satisfied, he recently branched out even further into the sports world by launching the management group Rock Nation Sports in conjunction with Creative Arts Agency. He's got 99 problems, but the biz ain't one. I don't know if you've ever done. It's almost like climbing a mountain. And then you see another mountain, and you go to the next one and the next one. Number two, Oprah Winfrey. I'm Oprah Winfrey, and welcome to the very first National Oprah Winfrey Show! When the Oprah Winfrey Show first debuted, there was no way to tell how long it would run or how massive an impact the host would make on pop culture. What to do on the very first show, we couldn't figure it out. We tried every celebrity, nobody knew who we were. Everybody said, Ofri, who? A pioneer of a new type of television, Oprah used her show to introduce her loyal audience to her passions and held little back. Do you understand that you're a slime? Wait a minute, one thing you know which resulted in a groundswell of support for her business deals. Ultimately creating a network with OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network, and a media empire in Harpo Productions, Ms. Winfrey's business skills have made her a mainstay on any Forbes list of the richest people worldwide. I never did it for the money. I was always doing it to improve myself, to grow myself, and to see how far I could be stretched. Before we reveal our top pick, 
Here are some honorable mentions. I had this idea on how a family brand can be built that was honest and convenient. I've always loved fashion and I was that kid who used to watch my mom get ready. Beautytainment is where beauty and entertainment collide. Which person would I like better, the producer or the actor? The producer is very generous. <laughs> She's also kind of bitchy and moody. Yeah, picky. <laughs> I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. Number one, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Are you Mary Kate and Ashley? Oh, wait, or are you the Ashley twins? Are you the Ashley twins? They'll say that to one of you? Yeah, right. so, you well, know, I'm one of them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> when Full House debuted, it was designed to showcase the three adult male stars. But most of the show's rabid fan base was entranced by the youngest daughter, played by the Olsen twins. But we're supposed to be a big, happy family. Not the first time a child star stole the spotlight from adult co-stars. It was what the twins did once they had that attention that made them stand out. And the accessory designer of the year is Ashley Olsen and Mary Kate Olsen for the road. Launching a fashion line, a series of videos, and eventually other income streams like fragrances and home decor, the Olsens turned themselves into mini moguls and some of the wealthiest women in entertainment through hard work and determination. Mary Kate and Ashley are really cool. It would be so much fun to hang out with them. We can! They're twins, looking so cool. Mary Kate and Ashley gonna have fun now. <laughs> do you agree with our list? You got it, dude. All right, babe. <laughs> Who do you think is the biggest celebrity entrepreneur? For more business top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I own 20 kookaroos. 21, sir. I own 21 kookaroos. Y'all don't own one kookaroo. Not one. Not one.